Hey everybody, sorry we were having a little bit of technical difficulties. We started once and then we had a problem. So my apologies for that. We've got a special little trick that we just set up that uh, is really cool. We have two cameras for the live, which is awesome, I think. I don't know, we're in the middle of the day. We just wanted to test it out and I thought, hey, I could stitch out something really cute. And if there's people watching, then goody goody. If not, then, you know, what are you gonna do? I wanted to show you guys this is a preview of a video that I did today. I haven't edited it yet. I hope to have it up this week, but this is a free creative Kiwi design. I did a really large one and I love it. Can you see my fabric? Isn't it awesome? I, I love the pumpkins and I got them straight across too. So I was really happy. So that'll be coming your way, creative Kiwi people. And it's a, a great no sew design. I love it. So we'll be working on that. I'm going to put this aside because what we're going to be doing today is right here. This is right here. That's what we're going to be doing right here. So everyone, there's uh, nobody with us. <laughs> is there anyone online, Don? We didn't expect that there would welcome. be. Hopefully the ones that were there for our mistake one will come back. <laughs> yeah, that, that was Don's fault. So everyone, when you're on this afterwards, you can uh, give Don a hard time. Please, ladies, especially uh, Donna Corning. She's pretty good at giving Don a hard time. But yeah, no, we just we just wanted to test out our stuff. And I just wanted to do creative Kiwi design. So this one is for my daughter. Beatrice and she picked out some beautiful fabric and she picked out the thread to match too So as always I get everything ready. I actually did iron that even though you can see a really big wrinkle there What the heck? Um, I pre-cut everything now uh, Heather will tell you the sizes so I'm gonna do the 8x8 eight eight hoop so I have everything pre-cut for that hoop and I think that works out really well. I'm not gonna use fabric on the back, I'm just gonna use a piece of cutaway and I think that'll work fine. So I have everything ready, I have my instructions printed and I have my hoop on my machine ready to go. So this is where the cool part is gonna happen. We are going to switch over. Now it'll take a second, we wanna, this is what we're testing and we wanted to review and see how long it takes. So let's switch over. And hopefully it still records my voice as we're doing it. Now I'm going to move my microphone and we'll see. So yeah, thanks for putting up with us for the test. It's pretty slow, but you know what? It's okay. I'm just getting my machine, my McDreamy, ready to be dreamy. Be dreamy, McDreamy. Stitch color one. All right, I'm going to move my book so I have it. Hopefully, how was that switch over done? pretty good yeah, I think it's okay. okay we think it's okay Don says it's okay hopefully the sound is good too we'll check yeah, on that sounds good. So Don says I sound good thanks Don that's <laughs> awesome okay so stitch color one which is the outline of the pump uh, the pumpkin I've been doing so many pumpkins I just say pumpkin all right of the pineapple so I've got yellow thread in which is oh, I'm using yellow and green and hopefully you guys will be able to see it when it stitches out. So just the outline so that we know where to place what we want. Oh, it's so cute. I need to get that 8x8 hoop done. This is why the hoops, the hoops a little bit big. That's looking good. How well can you see the yellow? Uh, not so hot. I'll have to use uh, something brighter. It's hard to see, but it's the outline of the dude. Four people. Well, it's just a test. So the next, the next part is to put the batting down. And make sure, of course, that it covers everything. I know it's the yellow is hard for you guys to see. I was hoping it would be a little bit better. But, you know, what are you going to do? So place it down. And the next one 
is going to the next stitch the next part i guess is going to stitch this down so we have a nice the batting the thin batting is nicely down so awesome oh come on mcdreamy you're not supposed to do this live he's not supposed to do this live mcdreamy he's nervous he's got stage fright maybe what do you think? Maybe? Maybe. That's okay. He's fast. Make sure every time if something like that happens, you got to back up a little bit because you don't want to lose the tie-in stitches. I think people think that, you know, it's not really doing anything, but you want the tie-in stitches because we really want this to hold down. So always back up enough. All right. So, yep. And there we go. All right. Thanks, McDreamy. Sorry you're scared. Stage fright live means no editing so when he does that i can't edit it out or if i run out of bobbin i can't remember if i checked the bobbin or not but that's kind of funny oh really yeah donna corning hi donna corning and uh suzanne summers you're awesome suzanne or it's susan i should ask her I just can't say Susan, though, because that's my name that nobody has ever called me in my whole entire life. So in my head, I say Suzanne. So there. All right. All right. Oh, Suzanne. See, I did say it right. Is it right? I did say it right. Who knows? Jeez. You. You. You, it's it says Suzanne. All right, Donna, give him a hard give him a hard time, Donna. Come on. No. Okay, so the next step in our pineapple is putting the backing fabric. Now I'm not going to use fabric. You can use this is a you know medium cutaway. I just like it for the backs of it. But you can make this completely reversible. So you would take the hoop out and turn it over very carefully, and you can put one piece of fabric over the whole thing or you can put two pieces, two pieces, and do the same thing. So it could be completely reversible. If you were doing it that way, make sure your bobbin matches your thread. So you'll have to have a green and a yellow for it. So, and because I'm using water soluble stabilizer, I can see right through it. So I can make sure that my fabric is, you know, put in properly. There we go put in properly and everything matches and uh mcdreamy doesn't like tape so i just do it his bed is big enough i just do it that way so wrong side of fabric oh yeah that's another point if you were doing the fabric thing make sure the pretty side of the fabric is down and the wrong side of the fabric is facing up so you can see the wrong side through it so and i don't tape so and then or if you have the two fabrics, I've, I've never done this, so I'm just going through it with you. Return the hoop to the machine and place the pineapple fabric over the guideline, which Beatrice picked out gorgeous fabric. Thank you, Beatrice. And it's kind of like a Hawaiian print almost. I quite like it. Pineapple. So, yeah, it kind of is pineapple -y. I wonder if I could be really clever and get that square kind of in the middle. No, not quite. Oh, well, it was a good try. So that's going to be our next step is that we're going to stitch it down and it's hooking in the backing as well. So let's do that with our yellow that she picked. So this will be a good test then. Do we have some other people? Suzanne, yes, you should apologize to Suzanne. It's, it's nice to know our admins are in here. Thank you for your support, everybody. We, like I said, we didn't really expect anyone. We were just, you know, testing it out. It's just a good time for us to do it. I, I didn't expect anyone to be able to, you know, participate. We'll do another Saturday night one. And you know what? We'll plan it. What day is it today? Tuesday? We could plan it. Plan one for Saturday. We could plan one for Saturday. So the next step in this, and I bumped the camera, apologies, is that we just want to trim. I would take it off the hoop, but I don't want to switch cameras. Trim just where our green is going to go. 
is all you have to do. And I hit the camera again. All right, I might have to make some camera changes. So you don't have to trim out the whole thing yet. Just where the green is going to go, where they connect and make it, you know, pretty. That's good enough for me. Whoops, move my little piece. And then we are going to put our pretty green fabric down. I'm still not going to change thread color either. Still not. It'll be fine. The green will come cover over. Whoops. Make sure. Th oh, thank you, McDreamy. Sorry, I forgot to put the switch down. Did my camera just die? No. That's a problem. All right. Well, you guys can still hear me. Hold on for a sec. We've just. Yeah. Wow. We have just had everything go wrong. All right, well, I can't edit and we're live and I kind of like to finish it. My camera is shutting off. Why would it shut off? Dan? Oh, just give me two seconds. This is, is it back on? No. Yes, it is. Don't touch it. It's on. <laughs> okay, well, that's weird. I think cameras are haunted. Oh, okay, I don't. I don't know why, but it's okay, well, yay! <laughs> Jeez! All right, so um, I think I was saying something like, let's stitch down the green, and then my camera pooped out, but it didn't really poop out. Yeah, oops, thanks, Donna, we are back. I, there's no reason why it would shut off and then turn back on. How strange is that? It's just that kind of day. Do you know that? It's just that kind of day. Uh, we are. There we go. Now while this is finishing off, I'm going to switch cameras because it takes a minute to switch over. I'm switching over. There we go. See, we got this. We got this. This is just a tester one, right? I hate that it says device not available when it changes over. I know. I don't know if we can do anything about that. I'll see what we can figure out. We spent an absolute fortune on the cords and the system to do this, and I am surprised that it says it because people are going to lose their minds, right? We'll have to... That's on you, Don, to figure that out. And please pay attention when I say I'm going to switch over. Was, don't be like, oh my god, the camera's gone again. It was not. Video feed and I'm listening. I'm listen. <laughs> listen to your wife. Listen to your wife. Hopefully we can get this all done in one piece. I don't know. The way today is going, I'm not sure why we said let's go live. It was like a bad thing <laughs> to do today. Jeez. So I'm trimming it as carefully as I can with my scissors and hoping that this camera doesn't go poopy. But I think we should be okay. I don't know why that switch shuts off. So yeah, using my, everyone asks me about my scissors. These are just scissors from Gunold. You probably can't read it, but it says Gunold on it. And they have a little bit of a curve to them. Not much and there's no other bends in it. They are absolutely my favorite scissors and I use them only for applique and they tend to work really well. So I like it and it makes it, uh, it's also how I hold them and how I hold the fabric. Maybe I could do a video on how to cut applique really well because there's a few tricks to it that I use. I guess everyone has their own way, mind you, but you know, for me, this is what works. And I can usually plow through everything. Usually plow through everything. Okay, so far so good. Nothing's fallen over. We haven't had any major emergencies for at least two minutes and I'm happily cutting. There we go. I actually like when I do the videos and I speed up the cutting because I look like Superman Embroidery Woman or something like that. You should give me like a superhero nickname for when I cut and I speed it up. 
it's like wow super super so now I'm just doing the batting because it was a little bit awkward in between here to cut both and sometimes that can be the savior when you're cutting stuff out is just you know take your time just do it separately anyone have any questions I know there's not too many people out there but Suzanne showed up and other Susan said that the <coughs> we us kids sound like her and her hubby <laughs> <laughs> yes because Don made me panic not good for the old heart there, Don. I keep telling you, heart attack wife, stay calm. I'm helping strengthen. No, no, Don, you're not. Give him a hard time, ladies. Oh, I forgot to turn my microphone. Blah, 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 blah. There Sounds we go. Good. Does it? Yeah. You you weren't even listening. I'm, I am. Oh, I'm hey, look at that. Look what I just did. I'm awesome. Oh. Yeah, that's awesome. All right, so this is why this is a tester. What you know, we shouldn't have done this today, Don. What the heck it is just gonna be a write off, really? Just really. So, I got the front finally done, taking my time, no need to rush, spill over my drink. That's awesome, too. And now, if you had fabric on the back, you'd have to trim the fabric carefully. I kind of like the look of the cutaway on the back. And it, it stands up to everything. But if you were doing fabric, you could do one piece of fabric or you could do two, whichever way. I, I'm just taking the easy way. Thank goodness today, doing an easy way out of something because apparently it's just a heck of a day today. Hopefully you guys are having an awesome day wherever you are. Hopefully nobody is in the path of the hurricane that I'm hearing about. All right, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. It Donna seems says she likes it unscripted. It's good. I don't script anything. I, I, it's not who I am. I just make it fun, and apparently I can talk a lot, and I just kind of keep going. Say hello to Elaine. Hi, Elaine. Thank you for joining us. It was just a last-minute thing, but we appreciate that you're here to help us test and test how everything looks and apparently we had one camera problem and hopefully we won't have any more right but i guess that's the fun of live you never actually know what's going to happen all right so i'm just going to touch up my trim in there i'm kind of a little off on a couple parts you don't have to be too particular because creative kiwi uh the satin stitches will cover up everything so this might not be perfect see i got little this is a little awkward, I think. I might need sharper pointy scissors to do in here. I don't want to leave it, though, so bear with me, everyone. Bear with me. What fun. What fun. We're having a good time. Speak for yourself. Speak for yourself, Don. Not so much. No, I... There's nothing perfect about live video or television. Nah. Nah, and if it's perfect, then it was scripted and y'all don't really want to watch it. All right, switching cameras, as always, sorry for the Fingers unknown. It's so slow, but it gives me a minute to hoop, so I suppose it's okay, right? Stop. We're back up. Turn the microphone. Yeah, it's just annoying. Maybe we could have a picture or something. Okay, so this one is a zigzag that is going to hold all my edges down and I'll see how far off I am. I shouldn't be too bad. I, I probably could have done a better job. I almost got the square in the middle. Almost. That's fussy cutting at its best, man. So, yeah, just a quick zigzag. Yeah, I'm fine. Even my little boo-boos won't show. Thank you, Creative Kiwi, as always. This is a free design as well, everyone. So if you want to try it, pick out your fabric like I did. Uh, that one might be a little bit off. Ah, uh, that's okay. Camera's still on. Okay, good. Now, I do have McDreamy up as fast as he can go, um, and he slows down when he needs it. It's going to take a few minutes. We can chat and talk about different things while it is stitching all the satin stitches, because that's going to take a few minutes. I did it big, too. Obviously, if you do it small enough, then 
you know, it won't take as long. So zigzag, I'm liking how it's looking. Yeah, I'm liking it. So what do we have going on in the in the comments? So yeah, chat with us. This is time. Your logo picture. Donna says our logo picture between camera switches. Yep. What, is, what do you mean? Oh, so it'll be a standby switching cameras or something? Oh. Can you switch the cameras on your computer? Okay, the remote didn't work very well. Still working on our zigzag. Oh, I kind of love the green. I kind of love the green. Beatrice picked out a nice bright thread for it. I'm just checking in on this dude and see what he's doing. So after that, change bobbin. We're going to do green, so I got to do a quick thread change. Now, again, at this point, after the zigzag stitches, if you were doing it reversible, you would have to change the bobbin to match. I'm not. I'm lazy. Maybe. I guess. I don't know. Probably. I didn't have it wound, so there it is. That's that's it. So once this is done, let's see, which that actually didn't take too long. Not at all. And once it's stitching out the green, we'll watch it, but uh, we can chat about different things. We can take questions. Might as well use the time that we have. All right, I got to get up and try not to hit everything. I think I hit the mic. This is really awkward for thread changes, Don. I have edited. Yeah, it's really. We have so much equipment here. I can hardly reach it, but I can, so I can do it. Okay, that's. Oh, hit the microphone. And duck down under the light. Wait till you guys see the green. It's awesome. There we go. Yeah, very awkward. Excuse my hands all over the place here. It is hard to do. Bloop goes the green. Very nice. Let's get that going. And then I can sit back down again. Yeah, very awkward. Oh, it looks good. I like it. I got a little bit puffy right there, but I like how this stitch is going to hold it down. So we're getting there. Good stuff. Looking good. All right, let's look at... We'll just watch this stitch out. If I had music, I'd put music on. So let's see what everyone's saying. Donna has a good idea. Oh, put your logo. Yeah, all right. Mr. Don's going to work on that. Actually, we could test it right now. Don says wait. Don says wait. Okay, switching cameras. That's not my logo. Wrong one. <laughs> wow, Don, you had one job, man. You had one job. Uh, okay. Is it going? Yay! Sorry. Okay, you kept it up even. Okay, let's switch back to the machine. So, Don, Don, switching. There. Oh, you did it before I switched. You said switching. Uh, so apparently Don and I have to work together a little bit more on this and we'll get it down. Has it switched yet? We'll work on that. Okay, so that's going to take a little bit of work. Okay, it worked and that looks much better, doesn't it? I think that was much better. All right, so Don and I just have to work together on it, which will eventually happen. We just, um, it's kind of, there's so much equipment going on, and there's so many cords, and Don's on the computer doing stuff, and I'm trying to concentrate on stitching so I don't stitch my face to it. You have to learn all the tools and features and kind of coordinate it, and it's just a little challenge. I think it's really good to have the two cameras so I am not struggling to cut stuff out, you know, at the machine. I don't actually like doing that because it, it puts a lot of dust and yuck in my machine. So I think it would be better this way. We'll, ju we'll just have to work on it. 
Holy cow, we have 11 people. I really didn't expect anybody, so thank you guys for being here. That's awesome. Um, we will plan one. So, any suggestions for a live, you guys? Obviously not this coaster again, but uh, any ideas? Yeah, we have a... Thanks, Suzanne. We have a switcher thing. It's just um, a little bit slow. So now if we put up something that, uh, you know, better than it's saying no signal, it'll be better. So we've got the switcher. It's just annoying. So, okay. So I want people to let me know what creative kiwi designs they would like for a live now i will be doing other digitizers um but right now i'm just having a blast with creative kiwi really really yeah really Yeah, I'm just trying. Oh, okay. We got to figure out why that camera is going down. What the heck? Oh, everything. <laughs> That's a good answer. There you are. Scissors. Wrong camera. You have to switch it. Wow. I can't do that. So when camera one goes down. It kicks back over to the other. Oh, boy. Yeah, I, something's wrong with our camera. I don't know why. I have no idea why. The Is it not switched system. over? Is it not on? The other day it was the other camera. I actually... Hold on. I actually recorded like a whole video and only one of the cameras was working. I was like, really? No signal? It's coming. Alright, Don says it's coming. Okay. It came up as I was switching. Alright. No, this isn't our first rodeo. This is our first time using two cameras, though, and it's proving a little bit taxing. Just for some reason, camera one keeps going out, and it, um, it doesn't usually do that. So, Deborah Harrison. Hi, guys. Hello. Yes, Suzanne, it's on now. <laughs> I know, I'm kind of a talker, aren't I? Thank you, Tevra. So Sue can keep on talking e even if the camera doesn't work. Yes, I can. Say hello to who? Anne Annery, else. else, yes. So no, if we have one camera, it's really easy for us to do live. We have it coordinated. We just thought we'd step it up a little bit and do two cameras and i think it's way better i think it obviously we have a few glitches to make it look smooth but you know what that is the fun of live right you can't have live without mistakes we will get there it's fun yes yes annery says uh she loves the items we've done and posted it's better than live tv woohoo yeah because you're interested <laughs> in it um and we are testing the boundaries with the extra camera. We're trying to do stuff on the channel that no embroidery people have done. And nobody has two cameras for, um, you know, a stitch along. And we thought, hey, why not? Obviously, we have to smooth it out a little bit. But I think it's fantastic. I think the view you guys have for the... Um, cutting is much better and I can show you guys stuff and I, I can actually see what I'm doing camera one I can't so Saturday Night Live always screws up I bet they do I never stay up that late I'm kind of, <laughs> I'm kind of bad for that but I never stay up that late yeah the camera Kimberly Boothby says you can master the second camera yesterday the second camera just literally stopped working and we couldn't turn it off we had to take the battery out to turn it and it's a brand new camera so we're like really and we had to do that about four times then today camera two is working fine and camera one decides to shut off like what the heck come on and it's free no selling yes we're not selling anything at all i'm not affiliated with creative kiwi i'm just having fun 
I am literally having so much fun with her designs. I'm just going to keep doing them until I'm not having fun anymore. I can't imagine what that would look like, but yeah, yeah. And she doesn't have any videos, and I can do excellent videos, I think, and we have fun doing them. So why not? I'm just going to keep rocking it out. Yeah, the weather. I know. Donna Corning is talking about the weather. I know. We're watching it. Um, in Canada, we don't get hurricanes. We don't get, you know, floods. We don't get... What else don't we get? Just about anything. Oh, I shouldn't say tornadoes, because we do get a couple of them around here. Once in a while, we kind of live out in the country a little bit. What we do get, though, is a buttload of snow. <laughs> and yes, that we can get gone. snowed in. We're not too bad where we live, but if you live in a place, a, a general area, it's called the snow belt. Um, even in Ontario, it's really bad. Which you can get a lot of snow. Like 20 minutes away from yeah, but we're still not in the snow belt, so Just we're good to go. We're good to go. So how large is this pineapple? I did the 8x8 eight eight hoop. Now, my hoop's a little bit big, but I'm just waiting for my 8x8 eight eight hoop to come in. Now, let me look in the book here. We are almost done. It is looking good. Well, I love the green Beatrice pick. The sizes, let me tell you, the sizes... So you can do 5x7, 6x10, 8x8, or 8x10. So I chose the 8x8 because I find that uh, sometimes it can seem a little big, but it's a good size for a coaster, and it's for my daughter's room. So I thought it would be groovy, to, you know, to have it. Groovy just to do it like that. All right, what's going on? Northern California Bay Area. Oh, isn't that nice in California? I, I thought it was most of the time. Uh, yeah, couldn't... I, what do they have? Earthquakes. All right, but yeah. still, but still. We just get toothless people and yard cars in my <laughs> neck of the woods. It's, that's hilarious. <laughs> we actually have Canadians like that too. We call them Newfoundlanders, but anyways, that's just a Canadian joke. If you're not Canadian, it sounds like I'm insulting someone. If you are Canadian and not a Newfoundlander, you'll laugh. So there we go. It's awesome. Yeah, that was really funny. So she lives in, is redneck politically correct to say, or is that a bad thing? Is it? In the 80s, it used to be an okay thing to say. We're, we're off the embroidery topic, though. Wow. Shall we get back to creative Kiwi me? <laughs> yeah, I want... Um, Heather's Sam, been... Sam, 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 Sam. My Sam? Yeah. Where is she? She said I'm on. Sam! Oh! She's supposed to be in class. No, she doesn't have class. Sam is our daughter, and she is in fourth year nursing. And fourth year is the test year, and she basically gets to work a whole lot. So she doesn't start till tomorrow. And it's really cool. She wants to go into cardiac nursing, obviously, because I had a heart attack in front of her, and she pretty much saved my life. So... She finds that interesting, and that's what she's going to go specialize in. So, which I think is pretty cool. Is your stabilizer woven? Uh, yes. Now, it's water-soluble stabilizer. I got this one from Gunold. We don't have quite the selection that, you know, people in the United States have. Um, how well can you see it here? You can see it. I find that the Gunold stabilizer is really good. I never have to use more than one layer. Never, never have to use more than one layer. So I quite like it, and it is water-soluble, and it just works really well. I love it. All right, so we're going to do some fancy parts. We're actually almost done. How cool is that? It looks good. I love the thread that Beatrice picked. That's awesome. Sammy, if you want one, just tell Mommy, and I'll make you one, okay? That's awesome. So, okay, we're, um, we're good. 
I think other than a few glitches and we're gonna figure that out before we go live on Saturday what we'll do for the next live we're gonna plan it out I will talk to the creative Kiwi people and see if they can set it up as an event in their group we still have to figure out time too but we'll try to do it as late as we can as at our end so the people across the world can get to see it but it's just hard I get really tired so does anyone else's machine hate tearaway stabilizer no McDreamy loves it he's cool with anything the only thing he doesn't like is tape so I don't tape anything I just pop it behind and it uh, the bed is so large it seems to work just fine um, tearaway you could use for a lot of you know creative kiwi designs there's quite a few or for like the quilting I do a lot of um, Anita Good Designs designs too and I use it for there so I guess it depends on the quality of the stabilizer now if you're using water soluble stabilizers there are two kinds and it's a clear plastic kind or the fabric-y kind and there's good and there's not so good there's ones the the fabric-y kind that's you know really thick and you pretty much have to boil everything to get rid of it I mean that's okay that would hold up it's just a lot of work to get rid of it you can get thinner stuff but then it kind of falls apart and you don't want that either uh, again this is from Gunold. I've never had a uh, water-soluble stabilizer that's the fabric-y kind like this I have never had any issues with it I don't use the plasticky kind. I do not use it on over stuff on towels. I think that's just a waste of time and money and normally the machine will get stuck on it. So I just simply don't use it. I will do a hatch smash stitch to hold everything down and it saves you time and money. That's just my opinion. That's how I roll. So our uh, pineapple's looking really good. The tape is horrible on my machines. Yeah, I can do it on Ragnar, my 10 needle. He doesn't mind at all. But uh, McDreamy's like, no, thank you. Nope. Tape equals bad, yes. A fabric glue stick that works pretty well. And it hasn't gummed up. Yeah, that's a great idea. I didn't know there was a fabric glue stick. Um, smash stitch. Oh, that's... um. It's videos on the YouTube channel here, and it's a smash stitch, I called it. Um, and Brilliance calls it a knockdown stitch, and they have it built in, but no other software does, and everybody's asking how to do it. So I did a video on how to do it, and what it does, if you have something with a high nap on it, it's going to flatten it down so your stitches you know if you're doing a name or something on a thick towel so it'll show up and it uh, works really well and I think it gives a much better effect than using the WSS plus WSS is a mess and it's hard to get out and you have to wait for everything to dry when I use the smash smash stitch that holds everything down it's done when it's done and it looks fantastic so yeah it's the same thing i did um three videos on it just to show you guys and of course when i do stuff i have to test everything to the max right so i took fake fur and i just stitched lettering on it and then i smashed it down and stitched lettering on it and it's like night and day it's fantastic and it literally held down the fur it was awesome and it looks amazing too so i figure if it can do that it'll work on everything right it'll work on everything we are almost done the beautiful yellow is stitching out and you know what that's once it's done we're pretty much done this project and i'm liking it i'm really liking it is there an equivalent in studio no see they don't it's kind of tricky so the knockdown stitch was made for brilliance and they just have a button where it does it. 
However, you can do it in any software. It may not be, you know, quite as efficient as pressing a button, but I like having more control of it. So basically what you do is an outline of the shape. So if it's lettering, you do an offset, not outline. Outline is close up. So you do an offset of it. And I usually do two or three. So I can select which one I think it would look better. Because sometimes when you're doing it, it's better to have it closer to the upper embroidery. And sometimes it's better to have it further away. So I kind of select it. And basically, it's just tatami stitches that are spaced apart and you crisscross them and it creates kind of like a mesh, a stitching mesh, and it should hold everything down. And it, what it does is makes a, a really good foundation for your stitches, the upper stitches, I call them, like the, the lettering or the actual design. So you stitch them down first and then do your design and it works out really well every time. I've never had it fail on me. The idea too is the smash stitches or the netting stitches or whatever you want to call them. I thought smash like Hulk smash sit down. No copyright intended. Thank you. Um, I just, it's better if you match the thread to whatever you're doing and then you really can't see it. So if I, I did Don's initials on a black towel and I did the smash stitches in black and it looks fantastic, fantastic. So what pro has an automatic knockdown too, but I found it to be too dense. Well, that's why I like uh, doing it yourself because you have control on it. So if you're doing something that needs to be pushed down or smashed down, then you can decide on the density, you know, and how close you put them together. I don't usually change the stitch length, but you can the spacing in between and you cut really, it doesn't think it's running. It does. Okay. There, that's a setting on this machine. So sorry. It's, yeah, wow. Is it back on, Don? Uh, yeah. All right. So we will fix that. Apologies. Oh, it flips over to the other camera. Right. So that means this one's off. No, it's coming up. It's coming back? Yeah, I can't. It's, it's hard to keep track of it. Yeah, we've got a, a quite a bit of a delay, too. So. There it's up. All right. So. The camera one automatically turns off, which really device is not available. There we go. We're back on. Apologies. We'll fix it. Sue, didn't you do a video on knockdown stitches? I did an embrilliance video on it. I don't have embrilliance anymore, so I can't do any more embrilliance work. Um, but I did, and I did three videos on the hatch smash. So it's Yes, I think it's timing out. Yes, I think it is too, because we have it plugged in to the computer across the room, so it doesn't think it's running. So I'm going to go in and change it so it doesn't turn off. I could do that, but then I won't be able to see this. Um, for some reason, that setting changed, or we've never bothered with it, but I guess if you're recording to the card, then it's different. Ooh. My pineapple's turning out fantastico. We're almost done, so we will fix it and see what goes on. Nice view. Yeah, we got new good. lights. We spent a fortune on cords to run everything so uh, up to the computer so we can do these lives much better. Now the camera's don't work. Now the cameras don't work. Okay, well, camera two is up, so we're good on that one. That was a problem yesterday. Um, the videos are titled Hatch Smaths. Yes, thank you, Suzanne. There's three of them. Um, I guess I can post the link on here when we are done. I can't do any links right now. I can. Oh, Don can. Hatch, hatch Smash. It's really, it's um, really good. Yes. Donna Corning says, you can apply the techniques shown in the other videos to other software, which is really cool that people are actually starting to see it. It was uh, not that long ago that they couldn't learn anything in Embird without an Embird video. And I've kind of been pushing to people because I only do, 
you know, the basic stitches that you can apply anything that you learn. Just like if we're stitching this out, you can stitch out this design on any machine. You don't have to, you know, have the exact same machine as I do. Same with the software. You can, you know, use it for anything. It, it works. Kind of like doing crafts. I just see Suzanne. Suzanne is on the ball today. Yeah, I see that. Um, yeah, awesome. And yes, Suzanne Summers says you will learn more than the smash hatch smash stitch. There's lots to learn. I try to fill up every video. I try to make it valuable for you guys, for everybody. So you can, you know, learn something. I mean, Creative Kiwi, you can learn how to stitch it out and attack it yourself. And I think that's absolutely awesome. It is now doing the fancy outside stitches, which I absolutely love. And then, you know, we're just about done. I love the colors that Beatrice picked. I think it would have been better if I had fussy cut it a little bit more. I didn't think of it with the yellow fabric I didn't think of it until I was putting it down and I had cut it a little bit short I think it would be really cool if the uh, square was in the middle but it's close enough it's a perfect pattern for yeah Beatrice picked that out and I thought that was awesome yeah there is lots to learn um, on the channel there's something for everybody that's what I'm trying to do especially with these lives that we can sit and sew together and I think that will be you know fun I, I think it'll be fun I'd like to do one once a week didn't we say once a week as long as we get enough interest uh, that's the thing about any video if everyone's loving creative Kiwi videos I'll keep doing them just fun we could do that <coughs> so two in a week yep and we're done wait for mcdreamy there he is okay don switching camera oh hold on a minute, oh, hold on a minute. why okay. <laughs> Make sure the right one. well it doesn't matter but i'm not gonna wait this is live man come on man all right so camera one can shut off if it wants to <laughs> now look isn't that amazing are you guys oh, loving it all right let me take my big old hoop off and we'll move it out of the way and put that now i think that's the perfect size i really think that's the perfect size that's awesome so basically to finish this guy off here we're just gonna trim it out and don't get too close you do not want to trim out those satin stitches um, I've done it before and it kind of sucks when you do so little little careful not you know you don't have to trim it like we did before the satin stitches go on yeah B picked that out it was just some uh, fat quarters I had hanging around what time is it no nope. couple more hours I vlogged today so there will be a digitizing class and a vlog and the vlog is all about the fabric that I've been using that I absolutely love. So hopefully that'll be fun for everyone. Something for everyone. That's what I'm trying. There we go. It's better to have the hoop that's closer to the size that you want. Then you don't waste the, um, you don't waste it. So yeah, what do you think of the colors? Mm, let me get it close up. Isn't that cool? And even though I was a little bit lazy on the outside, the trimming, uh, you can't see. Everything is covered up. I love the stitches there. I think that's fantastic. Now, the last thing you have to do because it's water-soluble stabilizer is I cut it a little bit closer and then just take a little bit of water. Now, I just take water and put it on my finger and just kind of rub it. Obviously, you can't do it with this big piece, but another way of doing it is take water on a q-tip and if you put it here then you can just pull it and it comes off and then you just take it with a q-tip and wipe it down so you have clean perfect edges this is the back and i think it looks absolutely fine with 
just the cutaway on it. So again, you can make it reversible and put a different fabric here and a different fabric here. And remember to change your bobbins. Or you could do one fabric on the back or you could just do cutaway. I like it because nobody's going to be seeing the back. So Beatrice can be really happy with that. And it's awesome. So do we have any questions? Any questions? This is a free design from Creative Kiwi that I've been wanting to try for a long time and Beatrice actually really wanted it too. So, oh, and I've had a request. There's my nails that I do myself. So it's plaid and this, I do it with stamping and this flower is like four stamps, but everyone says, can you show, me, show us your nails? So there's a nice good view of my nails, not embroidery, but still fun. So there we go. Now I'm looking. Is there any um, questions with anyone? Looks great. Yep. I'm really happy with that. That's free, by the way. That's free. Um, you just have to go to the Creative Kiwi website and download it and try it. Hopefully everyone will, uh, you know, use really cool fabrics like I did and uh, stitch it out. It didn't take too long at all. And then you guys can uh, post it up in OML Embroidery University or post it up in the Creative Kiwi group. Uh, they love seeing the work done. They, they absolutely love it. And stitch alongs are better than just regular anything. So it's awesome. So uh, you guys enjoy it. Yay free. Everyone's like yay free. Yeah, she has a lot of free stuff and I'm going to try to do some of it. Um, so everyone can get trying her designs because it's awesome. I think if you put a name across here, what a great gift that would be if you did four of them and put people, you know, Don, Sue, Samantha, Beatrice on each. I think that would be really a great present. It is that cute. And it would be nice. Um, wouldn't you like a set of these out in the gazebo, Don? I think it would be awesome. Absolutely awesome. So thanks. Um, thanks, everybody, for watching. Thanks and, and for helping us. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we got a few changes to make, but we're getting it. And I think the two cameras, it, it's worth it. I hope you guys agree. Um, people who are watching it uh, now and people who are going to watch it later. Let me know what you guys think of the two cameras um, aside from the struggle to change cameras but let us know what you think because uh, I think it kicks it up a notch I think it's fantastic this creative kiwi this is also free and this will be coming up in a video soon I have to edit it but thanks everyone thanks everyone thanks everyone and I'll see you guys in the next video bye everyone